Hello and welcome to today's video on the psychology of procrastination. Procrastination is something that affects all of us at some point in our lives, but what causes it? Why do we put things off until the last minute? Well, the first thing to understand is that procrastination is not simply laziness. It is a complex behavior that often has roots in our emotions and thought patterns. One of the most common reasons for procrastinating is fear of failure. We may be afraid of not doing a good enough job or of being criticized for our work. This fear can lead to avoidance behavior, where we find other things to distract ourselves instead of directly dealing with the task at hand. Another reason for procrastination is a lack of motivation. If we don't feel excited or passionate about a task, then it's much harder to find the energy to do it. We may feel bored or apathetic, which can lead to procrastination as a way of avoiding those negative emotions. Interestingly, procrastination can also be linked to perfectionism. When we have high standards for ourselves, we may feel like we can't start a task until we have everything planned out perfectly. This can lead to a vicious cycle of planning and replanning, leading to procrastination as we wait for the perfect moment to begin. One of the biggest problems with procrastination is that it can cause a lot of stress and anxiety. When we leave everything until the last minute, we often end up rushing to get things done. This can lead to a lot of pressure and stress, which can be detrimental to our mental and physical health. It can also have consequences for our work or studies, as we may not produce our best work when we're under so much pressure. So, what can we do to overcome procrastination? Well, the first step is to recognize when we're procrastinating and why. If we can identify the root cause of our behaviors, then we can start to address them. For example, if we're afraid of failure, we might need to develop coping mechanisms to deal with those feelings of anxiety. Similarly, if we lack motivation, we might need to find ways to make the task more interesting or engaging for us. Another effective strategy for overcoming procrastination is to break tasks down into smaller, more manageable steps. This can help to reduce the feelings of overwhelm and make the task seem less daunting. We can also set ourselves deadlines and create a plan of action, which can give us a sense of structure and control. Finally, it can be helpful to practice self-compassion. We often beat ourselves up for procrastinating, which only serves to make us feel worse. Instead, we need to be kind to ourselves and acknowledge that we're only human. We all have days where we're less productive or feel less motivated, and that's okay. In conclusion, procrastination is a complex behavior that can be caused by fear, lack of motivation, perfectionism, and other factors. It can cause a lot of stress and anxiety, but there are strategies we can use to overcome it. By recognizing why we procrastinate, breaking tasks down into smaller steps, and practicing self-compassion, we can start to conquer our procrastination habits and achieve our goals. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful.